Alright, hello everyone, it's GSTAR321 here again, and we are back with more Mortal Kombat Deception's Conquest Mode. In the last video, we freed ourselves from the prison in the Order Realm, and we defeated Hotaru. Now, we are on our final mission in the game, and that is to locate the last Kamidogu. The last Kamidogu will be found in the realm of Edenia. So, that's exactly what we need to do. We need to go to the realm of Edenia and locate the final Kamidogu. Once we do that, that's basically it guys, that's the end of Conquest Mode. So at the end of this video, you will see the ending to Conquest Mode. Alright, let's get straight into it. So here we are, Edenia. Now the first thing I'm going to do is walk forward because that will trigger a cutscene with Damashi. Shujinko, you have but one Kamidogu left to find before your task is complete. It lies hidden in this realm, the realm of Edenia. But beware, I sense there is another force at work. Someone else may be after the Kamidogu. Someone else? For what purpose? You have never fully revealed to me the true significance of the Kamidogu. After all these years of searching, I feel I am owed an explanation. <sighs> if it will serve to emphasize the importance of your quest, I will tell you what I can. The Kamidogu made possible the creation of reality. The Elder Gods used them to split the consciousness of the One Being into what we know as the Realms. I do not understand. What is this one being? Before the creation of the realms, there were only the Elder Gods and the One Being. The One Being fed off the Elder Gods. It consumed them. A war raged in the timeless void until six Elder Gods forged the Kamidogu and used them to splinter the One Being into the many realms. I am humbled by the scope of what you have revealed to me. Still, I am left to wonder why the Elder Gods have needed my assistance. As you know, you were called by the Elder Gods to retrieve the Kamidogu and deliver them into safekeeping. What you do not know is that the Elder Gods had detected a plot whereby an individual sought to exploit the Kamidogu and merged all the realms in an attempt to gain ultimate power. That individual may be here in Edenia. He must not be allowed to find the Kamidogu. It would seem that the Kamidogu are quite powerful. Dangerous weapons in the wrong hands. I thank you for being forthright with me, Damashi. I have no doubt that you will succeed, Shichiko. You have served the Elder Gods well. So there you go. Damashi warns us that someone else is after the Kamidogu. So we need to be on our toes here. We need to be very careful. But we're going to succeed. Don't you worry about that. Now if I bring up the map, this is what it looks like. As you can see along the top, we go up to column H and along the left going down, we go from row 1 to row 8. So it's a fairly large area, Edenia. This is a great area to explore. I find it's got some of the most peaceful music in the whole game. It's just really relaxing listening to the music here in Edenia and it's perfectly fitting as well. Great stuff. Now what we're going to be doing is knocking out pretty much every side quest first and fight challenge. Once I've done all of that then I will go to the main mission. So the main mission as you can see is not too far from our current location and if I go over there I won't do it just yet but I just want to show you who's there. As you can see, I don't want to get too close, it's Katana. So we need to have a chat with her. But like I said, I'm going to be doing all the side quests first and fight challenges. There are quite a few here in Edenia, so let's get straight into it. Now the first one, <laughs> the 
the first side quest that we have to do, funnily enough, involves everyone's, well, I'm not going to say everyone's, but the majority of people's most hated Mortal Kombat character, and that is none other than Su Hao. So where is that fuck? There he is. He's always sort of walking around this location here, F5, or sometimes over here, E5. Alright, so we need to talk to him, and he will give us a side mission, but... You know, I feel I owe it to everyone that's been watching my videos so far. I feel I owe it to the fans of Mortal Kombat. I owe it to pretty much humanity in general to do what I'm about to do, and that is to punch this piece of shit in the face. Unfortunately, we don't have a MG42 machine gun, you know, anything like that where I can just completely obliterate this guy, so punching's just going to have to do, so let's do it. There we go. <laughs> Have you gone insane? <laughs> Have you gone insane? Alright, so... If you keep trying to punch him after that, watch what happens. He gets smart, he just blocks and punches you, so... To save further embarrassment from being knocked on my ass, I'm just gonna talk to this guy. You are the one known as Shujinko. Greetings. I am Su Hao. I am an assassin and have been searching for someone in need of my talents. Find me employment and I will pay you a finder's fee. Find employment for the assassin Su Hao. What a bum. We gotta find this guy a job. Look at him, he's just wandering around the woods aimlessly. Fucking find a job yourself, you lazy piece of shit. Absolutely useless character. Unacceptable, disgraceful, atrocious, horrendous! The worst character in the series. I don't care if someone says they love this character or not. I... I hate him. With every bone in my body. So unfortunately, we have to help him. So we might as well do that right now. And to do that... We need to locate Mavado, and <laughs> Mavado is over here. This is where it is on the map, in this large palace area, at location D2. If you run up the stairs here, or this balcony should I say, there he is, there's Mavado. If we talk to him, Mavado will tell you that he's actually looking for an assassin for hire. So, let's go ahead and talk to him. You know of an assassin for hire? I have been searching for such a man to use in infiltrating the special forces in Earthrealm. I am Mavado. Tell this Suhao to meet me near the waterfall behind the palace. There you go. Mavado disappears. Let's go inside here first. Before we go back to Suhao. Nothing. Just a table. Where's the chairs? What the hell's going on here? How can you just have a table with nothing else? What kind of a place is this? At least in Earthrealm, I remember when I was going through there, you know, I'd walk in some of the houses and there was a table with a chair. So at least the person could sit down, have a meal. You know, basically just at least sit down, but there, it was just a table, so what do they do? Stand at the table and eat? Oh my god, what is this place? Now, as you'll see, there's quite a lot of Shao Kahn's soldiers roaming about Edenia. Now, if I talk to one of them... With every passing hour, more of our troops invade this realm. Yep, so as you can see, it appears... They're invading Adenia. Kitana is a traitor. She has abandoned Shao Kahn's rule. Hmm. And you'll see plenty more of them as you wander about the realm of Edenia here. I mean, look, there's even more over here. Let's talk to this guy. You there. If you have seen Edenian royal military personnel, you are to inform us immediately. Yep. 
So I might as well just go ahead and collect any loose coins that are in this immediate area before I go back to Su Hao. Let's go in here. There's got to be something here. <laughs> oh dear. I've got nothing to say. And as you probably noticed, there's quite a few dead bodies on the ground. Most of these guys are what's known as the Adenian Resistance. These guys are the people trying to stop the invading force of Shao Kahn's army, Shao Kahn's militia. Now you're probably wondering, why are Shao Kahn's militia trying to invade Edenia? Well, as you learn, as you continue playing on through Edenia here, you'll find that Edenia was once merged with Outworld. You will return to your home or you will be slain. This realm is now under the rule of Shao Kahn. Not yet. Not yet, my friend. Yeah, you'll find that Edenia and Outworld, when they were merged, was once ruled by Shao Kahn. But Edenia gained independence, and Katana, Princess Katana, and her mother, Queen Sindel, then took over reign of Edenia. But Shao Kahn seems to want it back. So that's why he's here. And more importantly, we think that Shao Kahn is looking for the final Kamidogu. So we need to be very careful about that as well. Remember how Damashi warned us that there was a another person in Edenia? Or another force, should I say? Trying to locate the Kamidogu? Well, I believe that's who it is. Okay, we can never go in this one. Yep, because you'll find out why a bit later on. Chest. 300 platinum coins, good. Okay, so let's finally go back to Su Hao and tell him that we found a job for him. Found him employment. What a disgrace. Where is he? There he is, let's talk to him. You have found work for me? Excellent. I will meet Mavado. Here is your commission. And he gives you 500 sapphire coins as a reward. And he runs off. Damn it. Yeah, he just disappears in a puff of smoke. You can't do anything about it, unfortunately. Okay, so... Currently where I am, you can see there's quite a lot of houses to go inside and loot. So that's what I'm going to do right now before I continue on collecting more side quests and locating fight challenges. It's starting to rain now too. I really love exploring Edenia. It's a great realm. It's just got a very peaceful atmosphere to it. I feel very calm exploring the realm of Edenia. Okay, two more houses in this immediate area to loot. One more house. Okay, now, let's go over here. There'll be two more houses. Yep. See, just listen to this music. I love it. That flute playing. It's awesome. It's got such great atmosphere here in Adenia. And if you go inside this house here, this is where it is on the map, this lone house sitting here at location F4. 
there will be a video to collect inside. Coffin TT unlocks Choi Lay Foot video. Brilliant. Chest over here on the grass. 250 Jade coins. Another one of Shao Kahn's troops. Let's talk to him. Kintaro has made our passage into this realm possible. Time and again he has proven his loyalty to the Emperor. Kintaro. Shit. Unfortunately though, we don't encounter Kintaro here. It'd be really cool if we did though. A table and two chairs. What an upgrade. I'd much prefer that house than that room in the palace. Okay. I'll just grab all the loose coins around. And then I'll continue on. Okay, so four more houses here to loot and one lone house close by it. One more to go inside, this one here. Beautiful. Quite a few people walking about, let's talk to one of them. Let's talk to this guy here. Shao Kahn has always desired to claim Adenia for himself. For many years he actually merged it with Outworld. Yep. I have seen Reiko, Shao Kahn's general, searching for something. Yes, Reiko is actually in this realm, and he gives us a side mission. What the fuck? What the hell? Was that real? Did that just happen? I saw a lady walking in midair. Must have been a glitch or something, I don't know. Watch out, Shao Kahn's militia are everywhere. Yes, that is correct. Thanks for that amazing piece of advice. Now, I'll go inside this lone house over here. Grab this coin. And over here, as you can see, it's Ashra walking about. She's at location C3. If we talk to her, she will give us a side mission, but we won't be able to complete it just yet. But anyway, we'll talk to her and get the side quest. I have done it. I have freed myself from the Nether Realm. But the sword that made my ascension possible did not emerge with me. I fear it remains in the Nether Realm. I shall never return to that place. But if you could retrieve my sword for me, I would be most grateful. Go to the Nether Realm and find Ashra's lost sword. Yep, so we'll do that in the next video. The final video. What's this guy doing? He's standing on the edge of the cliff. Let's talk to him. We have heard much about you, Shujinko. There is talk that you have come to save our realm. Is this true? We'll see. Now before I leave this little village here, there's actually a guy, there he is there. He's wearing a black shirt and white pants, the bald guy here. If you talk to him, he will give you a side quest. So let's go ahead and talk to him. Greetings. I wish to fight against Shao Kahn's forces, but I am not a trained soldier of the Edenian Guard. It would aid me greatly if you would take this sword to Queen Sindel for her blessing. 
I will pay you what money I can. Have Queen Sindel bless this sword for the civilian. There it is, a Denian sword. Let's have a look at it. Take this sword to Queen Sindel. Yep, so we can't do that just yet. It's not until much later on where we encounter Sindel that we can complete this side quest. Look at that, I've still got that sack of flour. Bloody hell. I can't get rid of it either because I can't go back to the Earthrealm village. Which is where we need to go in order to complete that side quest. Oh well. Okay, so. I've pretty much looted this whole middle area here. All the houses. So what I'm going to do now is go directly south from my current position. And start doing some fight challenges. So, let's do that. I'm going to go over here and cross this bridge. And this will take me to this sort of cool looking building here. That's where it is. Probably not south from where I was before, but southeast. That's where it is. This guy's dancing. I have to talk to him. We must help Queen Sindel and Princess Katana as they fight to save Edenia. Yep. Okay, so the first fight challenge will be right here. But I'm going to have to meditate because the person who we have to fight is not here. It's actually Liu Kang. This guy's dancing as well. Why are they so happy? Once again, Shao Kahn has sent his militia to conquer Edenia. Yeah, exactly. He says that and then he just walks off dancing. Like, what the hell? What's wrong with these people? Wake up, you fool. You're being invaded by Shao Kahn's militia. And that's all you can do? I really need to save these people. Because there's no way they can save themselves. Okay, so I'm going to have to meditate here till approximately 7 p.m. That's when Liu Kang comes out. And there he is. He starts walking around outside the front of this place. So let's talk to him to initiate the fight challenge. Liu Kang will prove to you why he is champion of Mortal Kombat. Will you prove him wrong? And I couldn't even see him there. I was blocked by that pole. Defeat Liu Kang while he is healing. Now this can be quite a frustrating fight challenge. You've got to be very quick about defeating him. So straight away, I'm getting into Li Mei's Kun Lun Dao fighting style. And I found out this really cool combo which she has, which stops ducking opponents. You press triangle and back X. And I'll show you what she does. I mean, I was pretty much doing it the whole round there. Let's do it. That combo. If you just press back X, she'll do that. See how she twirls it around? It's very, very good because it stops ducking opponents. It is absolutely essential in defeating Liu Kang here. It's quick. It pretty much stops the enemies in their tracks. See? Look at that. Normally I'd struggle for that fight challenge, but with that combo, it makes it very, very easy. Now for all the fight challenges here, I'm going to be using Lee Mei to complete them. Or should I say try to complete them, because if you do the main mission first, or the main missions, should I say, you'll actually learn how to play as Sindel. So after that, when you encounter a fight challenge, you'll have to do it with Sindel. I don't really like Sindel, I'm not very good with her. So that's why I'm going to leave the main missions to last and I'm going to do all the fight challenges first before I go ahead and do training with Sindel. 
Sindel's actually trapped. She's caught. She's been captured by Shao Kahn's militia and we have to free her. But we will do that later. Okay, now Sub-Zero should be around here somewhere. There he is. Let's talk to him. This will be a very easy fight challenge. Sub-Zero questions your loyalty to the Lin Kuei. Will you defend against his accusations? This isn't even really a fight challenge. All we have to do is a 10 hit combo. And with Lee Mei, that is very, very easy. So let's do it. Remember, I told you guys how to do that in one of the previous videos. It was the Outworld Part 3 video. Because there was a fight challenge there with Johnny Cage, where we had to do a 12 hit combo. Well, this is even easier, only a 10 hit combo. So to do it, in case you missed that video, we're going to do this last combo here. Square, square, triangle, circle, L1. This is what it looks like. See how the last hit is a pop-up attack? After that pop-up attack, we're going to do her down back circle move, which is that. And immediately after we've done that, we're going to do this move. Forward, forward, triangle. So let's do it. Get out of the corner. He's stuck against the wall. Okay, here we go. God damn it. You gotta get the timing down pat for that forward forward triangle move for her flurry of punches. There we go. 12 hits. Look at that. Lovely. So that's done. I wouldn't have a clue as to how to do that with Sindel. Maybe if I kept playing as her for a long period of time and studying her, maybe I could figure it out, but in the short time I've played with her, I can safely say that I have no idea how to do a 10 hit combo with her. Okay, and not far from Sub-Zero's location. Over here will be Havoc. This is where he is on the map. Location H6. Look at him creeping about. Let's talk to him. Havoc welcomes the idea of combat with you. Will you oblige him? Okay. You cannot block and you are bleeding to death. Quite tricky, we have to defeat him very, very quickly. Now I believe this is only one round, thankfully. Well, I hope so. It better be fucking one round. Look at that! If he hits you a couple of times, it's pretty much over because... Not only is that gonna damage you, it just wastes too much time, you know. You've got to be really quick at... Okay, no chance now. No chance at all. I still damaged him a fair bit there, though. I can do this one. It's not too bad. What am I doing? What a mess. Round one. Fight. And if you actually think this is a hard fight challenge, my goodness, wait till a bit later on in the video when we encounter the likes of Dyro and Scorpion. And we have to fight Tanya a bit later on as well, but that's not actually a fight challenge, that's one of the main Round missions. One. My goodness, fight. that is an absolutely atrocious fight. <laughs> Fucking disgusting. Because the thing is, we have to actually use Shujinko to defeat her. Okay, I'm doing something wrong here, this isn't working. I've got to change my tactics and I don't know what to do. Fucking 
Ow! This is horrendous! Round one. I can do this, guys, Fight. believe me. <laughs> See, for a lot of the fight challenges, you've just got to get a bit lucky. You know, you need the AI to relent for a little bit and stop with the blocking bullshit. I mean, look at that. Look at how much he blocked. Come on. You just need to get lucky and hope that he doesn't block that much. I just keep doing this. No, you don't. Oh my god. Alright, you know what? Fuck this. I'm just gonna give it one more go. If I can't do it, I just don't care anymore. I've had it. Round one. Fight! I just can't take it anymore. I'm fucking sick of this shit. I really am, you know. this. Wins. There's just no compelling reason to do any of the fight challenges in this game. There really isn't. You know, you get a shit amount of coins, like 300, 400 coins. Who cares? It's stupid. It's an insult. Especially for that notorious Shang Tsung fight challenge in the Nether Realm. You still only get 300 to 400 coins for completing it. That is completely unacceptable. Makes me sick. Okay, so I didn't complete that, whatever. I don't really care. I have done it, I can do it, but you know, I've just got no patience anymore. I've been burnt out over the course of conquest mode in terms of completing these fight challenges with inhumane criteria. Now if you run around these rocks here, you should locate rain somewhere. The ninja rain. Where is he? There he is. As you can see, he's sneaking about around location D7 or D6. No, not here. He's always around these big boulders here, D7. So let's talk to him. He will give us a side quest. Stop, infidel! I am Rain, faithful servant of Shao Kahn. I am searching for a suitable place from which to plan covert attacks on the Adenian Freedom Fighters. You will find me a cave, or I will destroy you. Go now. I will await your return. Locate a new hideout for the ninja Rain. Okay, we'll do that in just a minute. But first, we're going to go ahead and collect another side mission. I'm just running around collecting all the loose coins in the immediate area. Ah, oh, Kira's on this side. Okay. Well, I might as well do that fight challenge. Normally she's over here. Like, this is where I am on the map. Roughly location C7. She's normally standing right here at location C8. But she's over there for some reason, on the other side of the river. That's fine, we'll go and talk to her. And initiate that fight challenge, get it out of the way. Kira blocks your path, will you teach her a lesson in chaos? I don't think this fight challenge is too difficult from memory. We'll see. Oh, okay. Yeah, this can be a bit bullshit. Defeat her in 15 seconds. Now, nope. see, I could have done it, but she... Oh, man. <sighs> you know, these fight challenges are actually causing me a bit of stress now. Like, I can feel my heart rate getting up. Especially when I hear that countdown on the timer. Indicating I've only got 10 seconds left. Kira wins. 
One more go, if I can't do it, once again, I don't care. Round one. But normally I can do this. Ah, oh, how'd that hit her? They just block so much now, it's ridiculous. Actually, hang on. Okay, I'm going to give it one more go, but all I'm going to do is that triangle back X combo. That's it. That's all I'm going to do. Round one. We'll see if I can win by doing that. Okay, she blocked. Bad start. Breaker. Breaker. Wow. This is the worst I've done. Okay. Goodbye, Kira. Good riddance. Fuck you. So that's another fight challenge I couldn't complete. Who cares? Now, over here you'll notice there's three houses. In the first house, in this one here, this is where it is on the map. If you go inside, you'll see this guy. Now talk to him and he will give you a side quest. Good sir, I have not seen my eldest son in a week. I fear that he has been slain by Shao Kahn's invading forces. If you should meet him, tell him to come home, or if you should find him dead, please return to me the necklace I gave him. I would like it as a keepsake. Find the old man's missing son, or find his necklace. Okay, we'll do that one a bit later. Let me just go ahead and loot these two other houses here. Those houses are now looted. Alright, so... I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to complete the side quest we got from Rain. So to do that, go back in the same direction we saw Havoc, where we did his fight challenge, and that was over here. Okay, so Havoc should be standing over there. Yep, there he is at location H6. From his position, go in the complete opposite direction and make your way through these trees. Run along here. Fucking get that coin. There we go. And this will take you to this little tent. And as you can see, Jade is standing inside. Talk to her. Rain searches for a hiding place, does he? I am Jade, leader of Adenia's Freedom Fighters. We have been searching for the Outworld Ninja Rain, but he had eluded us until now. Tell him about this cave. We will ambush him when he arrives. Okay, so... This is the so-called cave we need to tell Rain about. And it's actually going to be an ambush. Jade is going to ambush Rain. So let's go back to Rain and tell him that we have in fact located a cave. There's Sub-Zero. Where are you Rain? There you are. How funny is that? As soon as I saw him, it started raining. You have found a cave to the east? Excellent. I will go there at once. As payment for your assistance, I will spare your life. Yep, so he gives you nothing. He just says he will spare your life. But if we go back to Jade now, she will give us a reward. So let's do that. And she should be standing. Yep, there she is, quite close. You don't have to go all the way back to that tent or cave, so to speak. So let's talk to her. 
for a ninja, he is not very stealthy. I heard him as he entered and defeated him before he knew what had happened. Edenia will remember your assistance. Take these coins with our thanks. Awesome. So Jade gives you 500 Jade coins. Lovely. And now, you can either go to the top left or the top right there on the map. Hmm, I'm just trying to think. You know what? I'm going to go to the top right first because if you remember, we just got a side quest there off that guy in one of the houses who said he's looking for his son. And we need to find that guy's son or if he's been killed by Shao Kahn's militia, we need to bring back his necklace. So this is the way to go to find him. As you can see, this is where I'm on the map and I'm just going to start exploring up ahead there. And that'll take me all the way around to the right hand side of the palace entrance. So let's do it. Now along the way, we're going to find some more fight challenges and side quests. So there will be a fair bit to do as we progress along here. Over here is actually Sector walking about. He's at location G3. Look at him. <laughs> so if we talk to him, he will give us a side quest. Sector is damaged, human. Sector is in need of repairs after an altercation with Sub-Zero. Take these coins, go to the Realm of Order and purchase the items on this list. Bring the items to Sector so that Sector can make repairs. Go to Order Realm and buy parts for the Cyborg Sector. There's the parts list. I love how he speaks in the third person. Awesome. Parts list. A list of parts to repair Sector's armor. Find the parts vendor in Order Realm. Okay, so we can't do that one just yet. We will complete that side quest in the next video. Okay, continuing along now. And we should encounter Hotaru. Yep, there he is, just standing there. This will be a fight challenge, so let's talk to him. Hotaru has tracked you to Edenia. Will you escape his wrath? This is an extremely easy fight challenge. We have to defeat him during an earthquake. Very similar to the fight challenge in Chaos Realm when we fought Darius. Okay, let's do it. This will be easy. Look at that, he's almost dead. You know, no bullshit criteria here. Like he's healing or you're losing health. We've only got 15 seconds to kill him. Just something simple. Fair for both you and Hotaru. Since the earthquake damages both you and Hotaru. And there we go, that was it. Very simple. Okay. Now, that guy's son is actually this slain Edenian resistance fighter here. So as you can see, he's dead, but if you press X on his body, there you go, you will pick up the dead man's necklace. A necklace found on a dead body, it might be of importance to someone. So we now have the necklace. And we can take it back to that guy's father and collect our reward. Melina is in amongst these trees here at location G2. This will be a fight challenge. Let's talk to her. Melina is a threat to Edenia. Will you defeat her? 
Another very easy fight challenge for memory. I can usually always do this one. What's the criteria? She does double damage, heals, and you cannot block. Okay. So it sounds quite dangerous, but as long as you take care of her very quickly and make use of breakers, it shouldn't be too bad. Just got to keep on top of her in terms of constantly hitting her because she does heal. And that is a very annoying criteria. Oh god. But at least I'm not losing health. You know, losing health to me is probably one of the worst criteria in fight challenges. I hate that criteria. It's just disgusting. There's no need for it, you know. Oh wow, this is... This is proving to be a little bit tricky. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that throw, but whatever. Throws tend to take up a little bit too much time for my liking. Oh, come on, this is it. Bullshit. Just stop it, please, game. She's starting to do a lot of sidestepping. I don't like that. I can do this one, guys. I really can. This one isn't too bad. It's only round one round. One. You know, the criteria, even though it is a bit bullshit, it's actually not that bad compared to others. But see, the thing is, I don't know, I feel like the AI is just getting a little bit more aggressive. This is the last realm to explore after all, so I guess that's understandable. I'm not blocking enough. I'm not doing breakers enough. Round one. I'm not even focusing Fight. enough, that's the problem. Okay, that's it. Absolute focus now. I'm not even going to speak. I'm just going to do this. Complete focus, here we go. Okay. Nope, I'm done. I'm out. Get me out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I am done. You know, I'm only going to give these fight challenges a few goes. If I can't do it, I'm sorry. Goodbye. I've already got more than enough coins to unlock everything in the crypt. I don't even need the coins. You know, these fight challenges are just a waste of my time now. But I'm just trying to do them to show you guys what they entail and how fucked up they are. Okay, now you'll see this guy here, this Edenian resistance fighter. Talk to him, he will give you a side quest. We have need of your help, stranger. We are members of the Edenian resistance against Shao Kahn. We need to send a message to other members of our group in order to organize a military push. If you take the message to them, they will compensate you. They are located on the other side of Edenia. Deliver the message to the Edenian resistance. Resistance note. There it is. Take this note to a member of the Edenian Freedom Fighters. We'll do that one a bit later on. So those guys are trying to push back, should I say, the invading forces of Shao Kahn's army, Shao Kahn's militia.
What else we got here? Nothing? Okay, so. Let's go back. Now, I'm just wondering how I should go back. I could exit the left hand side of the palace there, and that will take me around and all the way down, leading me back to where I can complete that side quest whereby I give that guy his son's necklace, his dead son's necklace. So I might do that actually. Dark again. I don't like it when it's dark. I'm going to meditate till daytime. There we go. Okay, chest over here. Let's grab that. 250 sapphire coins. And there will be another fight challenge right here in amongst these trees. It will involve Shoryuken! Ken. Ken from Street Fighter. There he is. Oh, sorry, Cobra from Mortal Kombat. Let's talk to him. Cobra will test his might against you. Do you accept his challenge? This is a fight challenge I just simply cannot do. But I'm just going to show you guys prove how fucking bullshit it is. Look at that. Defeat Cobra in 30 seconds while you are only doing half damage. Round unacceptable. One. Completely unacceptable. It would be doable if it wasn't for this constant blocking bullshit and interrupting of my attacks by the AI. And maybe if I had a bit more fucking time as well. Look how quick that punch was! I suspect that a lot of these fight challenges were never tested properly prior to this being released. Because they're just so inconsistent, you know, like... Here we are in a Denia, and... Quite a lot of the fight challenges already have been bullshit. I mean, admittedly, I have been playing like shit, but this is just one I find very hard to do. I don't know why. It doesn't sound too bad, but half damage is pretty bad. Oh wow, he's not blocking a lot. What the hell's going on, Cobra? Fucking wow! Oh my god, I could have fucking done it! If he didn't stop interrupting my attacks, that piece of shit. I could have done it. Look at his face. It's all bloodied up. Beautiful. You see... You know, it's really just a lot of luck, these fight challenges. Bro, I shouldn't have even done that, it just takes up too much time. Okay, goodbye Cobra, have fun. I'm out. Yeah, as I was trying to say before, you know, the fight challenges we encounter throughout the game are just highly inconsistent. Like, here we are in Adenia, and while most of them are fucked, some of them have been pretty easy. You know, I did the first one with Liu Kang, no dramas. I did that Sub-Zero 10-hit combo one pretty easy. The Havoc one, I could have done that, but it was just giving me the shit, so I gave up. Same with the Kira one, same with all of them. But what I'm trying to say is, you know, like, 
At the start of the game, there'll be this ridiculously bullshit fighting challenge, like in Netherrealm, you know, with Shang Tsung. But as you progress through the game, you'll find some easier ones than that. Shouldn't it be the case where, as you progress through a game, it gets harder and harder as you go along? But it's not really the case here in terms of the fight challenges. Like, some will be easy to start with, then it will get hard, then it will get easy again, or some will be horrendous to start with, and then they'll just get easier later on. I don't really understand, you know, it's like they've just thrown in all these fight challenges wherever they want, and it makes no sense whatsoever. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, talk to this guy for a side quest. You there! Do you know of the Adenian woman who bakes delicious pies? I will pay coins to anyone who will bring me one. Bring some Adenian pie to this Shao Kahn soldier. Gladly. We'll do that side quest a bit later on. And if you go over here, you will see Scorpion. This is another fight challenge. Now, this fight challenge is... It's one of the worst in the game. It really is. Get over here, will you go over there? Ugh. It's hard. It's a very hard fight challenge. Just look at the criteria. Defeat Scorpion despite him doing 300% damage and healing. 300% damage! Which basically means two to three hits and you are absolutely toast. You cannot get hit at all. Always use your breakers. Look how much this throw will do. Okay, the throw didn't do too much damage. Oh, okay. That was close, guys. Admittedly. Round one. Fight. See, I'm getting real close with a lot of these fight challenges, but I just can't complete them. Which is sort of now leading me to believe that I, in fact, just fucking suck at this. <laughs> Truth hurts, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, he loves throwing Scorpion. This fight challenge. Ooh. Ouch, look at that. You know what's funny? I remember doing this fight challenge in a test run previously, and you know Scorpion's forward X back X trip combo where he does those two leg sweeps in a row? I think he did that to me twice in a row, and I was dead within three seconds of the round starting. No joke. You know, you start with 90 seconds, and at 87 seconds, I was dead. He killed me in three seconds. That's got to be a record, you know. Alright, let's give it one more go. We'll see what happens here. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Healing as well. I mean, come on. One more go, one more go, one more go. You got a flawless victory there, so that's not good. Round one. Fight! Shit! Look at my health already! Scorpion flawless victory. Again! Oh, it's because of the healing bullshit, that's why. I was wondering, I was hitting him then a bit. And then I realized, oh, that's right, he heals. Goodbye, Scorpion. Thanks for the matches. And while we're here, I might as well make my blood go beyond boiling point and give the Dyro fight challenge a go. You're gonna love this one, guys. This one's gonna be beautiful. Have a look.
Dairo has hunted you down. Will you defend against him? Highly unacceptable this fight challenge. Only throws do damage. Okay, so that's not too bad. We've had quite a few of those fight challenges throughout the game and we've been relatively successful. They do take up a bit of time though because throws don't do that much damage. But not only that, we cannot block. Round one. Why? Why fight. was that necessary? You know, it's just, it makes it very hard because even when you sidestep, 90% of the time, Dairo still hits you. It's disgraceful. And he loves ducking. Oh, got lucky there. <gasps> oh. Huh? Oh. close guys <laughs> they're all close all of these fight challenges are going close I just can't complete them though that is the problem you know close but not close enough see I was just holding up then and sidestepping the whole time but he still got me in that combo Look at that! It would just be so good if I could block, you know what I mean? Then this would be easy as hell. Yeah, shoot that stupid star fireball out of your foot. <gasps> oh my god, I did it! I did it! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that's right, that's why I find this one to be absolutely horrendous. It's two rounds. Yep. Okay, I'm done. Yep. You know what? No. Sorry, no deal. No deal. <laughs> I thought I actually did it then for a second and then realized, oh no, that's right. Of course. The game can't be that fucking forgiving. Okay, now besides this boulder here, you will see this Edenian resistance fighter, or Edenian freedom fighter. Talk to him, and we need to give him this resistance note, so that will complete that side quest. A message from the others? Hmm. It says they will attack in three days, and they wish to coordinate the assault with us. You have done well. Take these coins for your trouble. There you go, he gives us 400 jade coins for delivering that note to him. Beautiful. There's a lot of people just aimlessly wandering around the woods here. I'm going to talk to one of them. Run for your life! I have seen a four-armed tiger roaming Adenia. Oh shit, that might be Kentaro. Where? I've never encountered him here in Adenia. What's this guy gonna say? Oh, there was two of them. Watch out! Shao Kahn's militia are everywhere. Okay. I know. Okay, so... We're slowly working our way back down to those three houses there roughly at location E8 on the map so we can return this necklace to that man but before we do that as you can see over here there he is Reiko is walking about talk to him he will give you a side quest Halt I am Reiko general of Shao Kahn's army you will carry this document to an outworld foot soldier near the palace, who will take it to Shao Kahn himself. 
Do not show this document to anyone but a soldier of Shao Kahn's army. Present Reiko's document to a Shao Kahn soldier. Note from Reiko. Let's have a look at it. Take this note to a member of Shao Kahn's army. We're not going to do that. We're going to take it to an Adenian freedom fighter. More specifically, the one standing at the end of one of these bridges. Where is he? There he is. We'll take it to this guy here. Let's deliver it to him. The document you are carrying is quite troubling. If this information had fallen into the wrong hands, it could have meant the destruction of the realms. You have done the right thing by bringing it to me. Take this small token of our appreciation. Adenia owes you much more than this. 600 gold coins. Awesome. So that is done. And now, we will go and return the necklace to that guy. Hang on, this isn't the right place. What am I doing? Oh, I haven't even explored these houses yet. I might as well do that now. Okay, and outside this house here, at location B7, you'll see this lady standing here with her arms folded. Talk to her, and she will give you a Denian pie for that foot soldier of Shao Kahn's army. Yes, I bake pies. For who? A soldier of Shao Kahn's military? Hmm, take this one to him. It is poisoned. Awesome, look at that. How tasty does that look? This is the best pie in all the realms. I'd eat it myself, but unfortunately, like she said, it's poisoned. So we'll take it back to that soldier in just a minute. But first, while we're here, remember, in this house, we're going to return the necklace to this guy. My son's necklace. No, it is as I feared. He is dead. I thank you for bringing it to me. Take these coins for your kindness. 500 platinum coins. Beautiful. And that is done. So, we don't have much left to do, guys. Ooh, I saw a coin pop up somewhere. Where was it? There it is, blue coin. So let's go and give that foot soldier of Shao Kahn's army the poisoned Adenian pie. And we'll watch him die after eating it. Sounds sick, I know, but that's what happens. And then after that, we can start tackling the main missions. Because that's pretty much all the fight challenges and side quests that are available here. Okay, so where is he? There he is, just across the bridge. Let's give him the pie. You have returned with a pie. Excellent. I will share it with my men. Or maybe I should eat it all myself. I will decide later. Here is your reward. 500 platinum coins. Now watch him. Look at him. Look at this. <laughs> Look at him. Talk to him. I do not feel very well. Yep. Now watch. Dead. There you go. That's one less soldier of Shao Kahn's army to worry about. So, we are done guys. We're going to start doing the main missions now. And the first thing we need to do is go and speak with Katana. Who is over here at the green aura. So let's do that now. You you emerge 
emerged from the portal to the gods. How can this be? I am Shujinko, champion of the Elder Gods. I am searching the realms for artifacts that will aid in the fight against evil. My quest has led me here. I am Princess Kitana. If you are the champion of the Elder Gods, perhaps you can aid us in our struggle. There was a time long ago when the Emperor Shao Kahn merged Edenia with Outworld. For millennia, he ruled the combined realms, until my Earthrealm allies and I won Adenia's independence. Now Shao Kahn has again invaded this realm. He has learned that a powerful device lies hidden somewhere within our borders, and may have sent his forces here to find it. Shao Kahn? He must be after the Edenian Kamidogu. His situation is worse than I had suspected. How may I be of help, Princess Katana? My mother, Queen Sindel, has been taken captive. I cannot free her myself, because I must return to Outworld to lead our forces there in a direct assault against the Emperor. Free the Queen, so that she may lead the resistance here in Edenia. Where is the Queen being held? She is imprisoned somewhere near the palace, guarded by the traitor, Tanya. You must defeat Tanya in order to release her. I will win the freedom of your Queen. Of this you can be sure. Thank you, Shujinko, and good luck. Ugh, good luck, I'm gonna need it. So here we go, we have to defeat Tanya in order to free Queen Sindel. This is, make no mistake, this is a very, very difficult fight. It is horrendous, okay? Because we're not using Lee Mei to do this fight. We have to actually fight as Shujinko here. And, you know, we don't have any special moves yet with him. So we're basically fucking useless. All we have is combos in the Mantis and Shaolin Fist style. We don't even have combos in our sword. Oh man, it's just a disgrace. Anyway, let's do it before I lose my mind. Excuse me, but I am looking for the one known as Tanya. Would you happen to know her whereabouts? I am Tanya. Do you have business with the Emperor Shao Kahn? Not exactly. I come to ask that you release Queen Sindel. She has been unjustly held captive by Shao Kahn's forces. <laughs> you are a fool, old man. I have been instructed by Shao Kahn himself to guard her with my life. You will have to get past me if you wish to free her. So be it. So be it. Bold words, Shujinko. Bold words indeed. However, can you back them up? Free Sindel by defeating Tanya. Full stop. Enough said. Round one. Whew. Here we go. Now, why is she so hard? I don't know. She just is. She blocks a lot, sidesteps a lot. Shujinko fucking sucks. Look at this. Look, look at the combos in his sword fighting style. Square, square. And it's pathetic. It is so slow, that attack, that combo. It is shit. And after you've done it, it leaves you vulnerable to attack. Because there's a bit of a recovery period. It's absolutely terrible. Special moves? None. Except a throw. Look at this! I mean, he's got good combos, but look at that! Who can remember how to do all that shit? No one. So the main combo I'll be using is this one. Forward circle, square triangle, back triangle. And then for the Shaolin fist style, I use that one and that style branching combo. That's it. That's all I use. Nothing else. Tanya is very fast. I just want to cry because I know how tough this is. Tanya wins. Whew. If I don't defeat her within three attempts, I'll just cut it to when I have actually defeated her. Because this could, in fact, take quite a while. Ah, oh, what? 
got to... Okay, I've made her pretty much use all her breakers. That's good. No, get out of that sword. Oh, shit. No! That was it. Yep, okay. That's okay. That was the first attempt. Didn't do too bad, but I could have definitely done a whole lot better. I just fucked up a lot of the combos there. That combo does barely any fucking damage. She is highly aggressive. Very fast. There we go. Because of that, she tends to go through a lot of Shujinko's combos because they are quite slow. Shujinko's combos. I actually didn't expect that to hit at all. Yeah, I didn't have time to block after that. Fuck. Okay, one more round to go. Come on, I can do this. Please just win. Please. Normally I'd be losing it now, but I just have nothing left, you know. After attempting all the fight challenges here in Adenia, and realizing that most of them are just horrendous. I simply don't care anymore. I have accepted that this fight is fucked, and because of that, I have accepted I may be defeated over and over again. See, the problem is I tend to use all my breaks in the first round. I can't really help myself, though. Fucking hell! What's going on? That's what I'm pressing. Square, triangle, circle, L1, square. Do it! Do it, Shujinko. What the hell is wrong with you? Shujinko wins. I hate this character. Round two. Shijinko sucks, he really does. Until you start getting his special moves, which are basically just copies of other characters' special moves, like Liu Kang's bicycle kick, Scorpion Spear, and so on. That's all he is, just a copy, an imitation. Well, I guess that makes sense, because if you've played through Conquest Mode, you'll know he has absorbed the fighting styles of many warriors, Oh, that was it. Come on. I swear to God, if I've actually put my head down into my hands right now. Hang on, I just need to recover from that. Just... Just give me a... Oh, man. I don't understand how this game can be so cruel sometimes. There is just no compassion from this game whatsoever. Absolutely fucking unrelenting. Inflicts so much pain on you that you will no longer feel the pain because it's just become an accepted reality. Okay guys, I'm just going to cut it to when I finally do defeat her because I honestly don't know how long this is going to take. Okay, so there we go guys, I finally did it.
It only took me one extra attempt, so not too bad. But there we go, Tanya is finally dead, and we can go inside and rescue Queen Sindel. You are a bit old to be in Shao Kahn's military, are you not? I am Shu Jinko, champion of the Elder Gods. I have come to release you at the request of your daughter, Kitana. She is currently in Outworld, confronting Shao Kahn's army. Kitana lives? You are truly the bearer of good tidings, Shujinko. Come, we must leave here now before anyone realizes that I have escaped. Follow me, and I will reward you for your efforts. Yep, so we need to follow Queen Sindel. Quite literally. Instead of just being transported to her, we have to actually manually run all the way back to her. So she's over there in that little palace, I guess, if that's what you'll call it. So that's where we need to go. And this will be training with Sindel. Now, I've left this until last. Because like I said, I wanted to try and complete the fight challenges all with Lee Mei. Since I am better with her. Chest over here, let's grab that. Have I looted every area? Let me just have a quick look. The whole middle is looted, down the bottom is looted, bottom left is looted. Yep, okay. I've completely picked clean, so to speak, the realm of Edenia. Okay, so let's initiate training with Sindel. I am Queen Sindel. I am grateful that you risked your life to free me. I owe you my thanks. It is an honor, your highness. Please allow me to repay your gallantry. I wish to bestow upon you the combat skills of an Adinian knight. Do you accept? Indeed, Queen Sindel. I accept. I accept. Okay, so here we go. Sindel. An Adenian knight must first undergo Zarchuan basic high attack training. Very good. She's an alright character. She's got some pretty cool special moves. But I'm just not very good with her. You have graduated to low attacks. Begin with these Zarchuan basic low attacks. I'm not really a fan of her weapon fighting style. It doesn't really seem to have many good combos. They're quite short. Adenian knights are known for their courage in battle. Learn these Adenian power and pop up attacks until you have mastered them. Spring leg. <laughs> you have learned much, but you are only halfway to becoming an Adenian knight. You will now learn Zarchuan basic combos. Very basic indeed. Excellent, you have mastered the Adenian basic combos. Let us see how you fare with more advanced Zarchuan combos. That's a pretty cool combo. This is a good one. Pop up attack, followed by an air juggle. Now for the basic high attacks of the Fu Jou Pai fighting style. What a name. Good job. I like her stance in this fighting style. Every Adenian knight has mastered these Fu Jou Pai basic low attacks. Good job. Next, learn these Fu Jou Pai power and pop up attacks. Missed, fuck. Yeah. 
Well done. Now for food, Joel Pie basic combos. Like, look at her hands in this fighting style. It's like she's about to grab something. You know what I mean? Claw something. Well done. Not bad, Shujinko. Now try Fujo Pai Advanced Combos. Pretty easy. The Quan Do high attacks are difficult, but you will find it to be an elegant weapon once you understand its balance. Well done. Excellent. Finally, you will perfect the Quan Do basic low attacks. Finally, you will learn Quan Do power and pop up attacks. It just seems like a very slow weapon, the well Quan Do. I don't really like it. I can just picture her getting outplayed. You know. Finally, show me you can handle Quando basic combos. Outplayed against an opponent with a faster weapon. Good job. That is. Next you will master Quando advanced combos. Oh yeah, this is a pretty cool combo. Six hits, not bad. You have shown that you are indeed a formidable warrior. Show me that you can handle style branching combos. Now for a different style branching combo. Very good. Now complete this style branching combo. Ah, oh, fuck, that's right. That first hit always misses for some reason, so you gotta get behind her. There we go. Now you will learn secret Edenian fighting moves. I will teach you our special attacks. That's a classic scream move. Look at that. Fantastic. Sounds like the music's glitching out now too. Lovely. Well done. Now try this one. Just a projectile attack. Pretty good. Fantastic. Watch her last special move though. I love this one. This is great. This next special attack is not as easy. Just watch it. Sliding foot grab. Ready? I'm going to do it all the way from the far end of the screen. Oh, okay, you can't. You have to be at a certain distance. <laughs> Look at that move. That is a cool move. That's great. An Adenian Knight can perform any of the previous special attacks on command. Attack me with all of them. I will not make it easy for you. Not too difficult here. Good job. For your final test, you must defeat me in battle. Do not hold back simply because I am the queen, I can handle myself. Okay, so now we have to defeat her in combat. Fuck, what was that combo? Okay, there we go. Love doing that combo. Foot grab, do it. Hell yeah, I love it. Get out of here. Wow, flawless, flawless victory. victory. For a character I'm not very good at playing as, I did exceptionally well there.
And that is training with Sindel complete. You are now a fully knighted Adinian soldier, Shujinko. And as such, I have a task for you. What task would that be, Your Highness? Shao Kahn seeks a powerful item, one that has been kept hidden in Adinia since before our recorded history. It must never fall into the hands of the Emperor of Outworld. Take this Kami Dogu and return it to the Elder Gods. They will know what to do with it. I will take it to them immediately. What will you do now, Your Highness? Kitana and I will continue the fight to free Adinia from the tyranny of Shao Kahn. His men will be searching for me here, but he has no knowledge of you. You have a chance to escape if you leave now. Yes, Your Highness. Good luck to you. And there we go, guys. We have finally collected the Adenian Kamidogu. So that is what Shao Kahn was after. Grab the coins and exit. Now, if you remember, we got that side quest off the guy who wanted us to bless this sword. So we need to take it to Sindel now that we've done her training. Don't repeat it, just press triangle to cancel. Yes, if it will inspire its owner in the fight against Shao Kahn, I will gladly bless the sword you carry. There you go, she has now blessed it. Return this blessed sword to its owner. So we can take it back to that guy. I see you have found the last of the Kamidogu. Yes, Damashi. I was on my way to the Nexus to place it upon the altar. Because you have recovered all the Kamidogu, I will receive a physical body and will be free to dwell in the physical world. My rebirth is to take place soon in our world. That is wonderful news. Congratulations, Damashi. Hurry, take the Adinian Kamidogu to the Nexus. I will meet you there. It will be good to finally bring this quest to an end. Okay. So we need to do what Damashi says and take it back to the Nexus. And that will complete our quest. We have finally collected all of the Kamidogu. But first, where is that guy? He should be walking around here. Maybe it's too early. Let's meditate a bit. Remember, he's wearing the bald guy. There he is, wearing the black shirt and white pants. Let's give him the blessed sword. My sword has been blessed by Queen Sindel. I thank you, sir. Here are the coins I promised you. 400 sapphire coins. So, you now I think we've pretty much collected. Let's see how many coins we've got. Look at the amount of coins there. You should easily be able to buy... All remaining characters, alternate outfits, and so on with those coins. So, we need to go back to the Nexus now and place down the final Kamidogu, the Edenian Kamidogu. We're coming up to the end of the game now, guys. So here we are. Now if you run forward, watch what happens. After all these long years, I have finally found the last of the Kamidogu. My quest is almost at an end. What is ending is your meddling in the affairs of the Elder Gods, mortal. Scorpion! Yes, and I remember you as well. We met in the Nether Realm. I taught you my fighting skills. Now I will give you your final lesson. Fight! So we have to fight Scorpion. He prevents us from placing down the Adenian Kamidogu. And once we defeat him, we will be able to put it down. So, defeat Scorpion to complete your quest. Now we have to defeat fight. him in three rounds of combat but he's not too difficult even though we are playing as Shujinko who I hate he's still not that hard I should be able to do this first go There we 
go, that's the first round done. Two more to go. I've got no breakers left there, that's a bit of a worry. Hopefully I can make him use all his breakers, that would be good. There we go, he's only got one left now. Throw! Grab him! Fuck, you got me! Okay, he's got no breakers left either. Good. Now we're even. Fight to the death. What? I fucking grabbed him. Oh, that's bullshit. Okay, I'm losing. I've got to focus. Oh! Bastard! Round three. Fight! Have I mentioned I hate playing as Shijinko in this game? Even though I love Conquest mode and it's got a cool story and all that, to play as this guy in an actual battle, an actual fight, is something else. God damn it. He's kicking my ass. If he just stopped fucking blocking, then I could do some damage to him. I can't do anything. I've got no breakers. I've just got to take this. Just got to sit there and fucking take it. There we go. One more round to go. Come on, we can do this. Round four. Fight. Good. Good start. Fuck. Good combo. Blocked it. Fuck you. Got him there, that was good. Yes! That's it, we're done. Now guys, be prepared. This is the ending of Conquest Mode coming up. Watch. I have defeated him. Now I am free to complete my quest. Not understand. The Kami Dogu should have been transported to the Elder Gods. Why is it not happening? <laughs> because you have not completely finished the quest. Who? What are you? Ah, yes. Familiar words. Perhaps this will help you to understand. Damashi! What has he done to you? Let him go! Should Jinko. Please save me! <laughs> oh, fool! Damashi does not exist. The avatar you see before you is merely a projection of my consciousness. I manipulated this astral puppet from beyond the boundaries of death, and in turn, manipulated you. I deceived you into bringing me the means of attaining ultimate mastery over reality. So it seems that I have indeed known you all these years. Then by what name shall I call you now? Tell me who you really are, demon. I am Onaga, the Dragon King of Outworld and soon to be ruler of all that exists. I must thank you for giving me so much power. The Kamidoku are mine. <laughs> you may have them. They do nothing. You have wasted your time. Nothing happened when I placed them all on the altar. Not all. If you had found the last piece, the altar would have transported them to the Elder Gods. But the last piece is currently in Outworld in the possession of a fool sorcerer. I will deal with him later. For now, I will take these artifacts you have so dutifully collected for me. I am afraid they will not make it into the hands of the Elder Gods after all. And so, Shuchenko, your quest is done. Prepare for death. The Dragon King has not emerged from the portal. Perhaps he has lost interest in pursuing me. More likely, he has gone to Outworld and will confront the sorcerer who possesses the last remaining object. 
I have been a fool. Blinded by the lure of adventure, I have endangered the realms and betrayed the Elder Gods. The blame is mine alone. What have I done? You have unleashed Shujinko. With his combat might, you can defeat the Dragon King. The Dragon King now possesses the six Kamidogu and has taken the ancient amulet from Quan Chi and Outworld. Although each item is powerful beyond mortal comprehension, individually they contain only a fraction of the power needed to create the realms. To become all-powerful, Onaga must discover a way to fuse them into a single ultimate Kamidogu. I have been a pawn in Onaga's scheme to rule all. If I am to redeem myself, I must continue to learn all that I can and prepare for this final battle against the Dragon King. My journey is far from over. And there you go guys, that is it. That is the end of Conquest Mode. What an ending! Shujinko has been following this so-called Damashi entity, which in fact has been Onaga the Dragon King the whole time. Unbelievable! I remember the very first time playing through Conquest Mode and finishing it, I thought, you're joking, I went through all that bullshit, you know? doing all the side missions, trying all the fight challenges, doing everything that Damashi told me to do, and at the end of the game, that's the thanks I get. Just seeing Onaga the Dragon King take the Kamidogu off me and saying, yeah, thanks, okay, see ya. That's it. You know, that made me think Shujinko's whole life has been a complete waste of time. But he took it calmly, Shujinko, I'll give him that. He took it relatively well. And he just said there, my journey is far from over. So it looks like he's still got some fight left in him. But guys, even though that is the end of Conquest Mode, there's still one more video to do, and that involves a cleanup video, basically, just to finish off all the remaining side quests, do some more fight challenges, and to show you guys some more unlockables, like characters, and alternate outfits and so on. Now when you finish the game here, when you finish conquest mode that is, you will actually unlock Shujinko as a playable character if you want to in fact play as him. I personally can't fucking stand him. Absolute rubbish. But with all these special moves, I mean I'll talk about this in the next video because we will unlock them all, but when you've unlocked him fully, that is, with all his special moves, he's actually pretty decent. Because, like I said, you know, playing through Conquest mode has involved him learning many fighting styles. And because of that, he's taken on a lot of special moves. From familiar characters such as Scorpion, he's got Scorpion Spear move. And he's got Ermac's Telekinetic Slam move, for example. And so on and so on. But that is it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed that walkthrough of Conquest mode. My goodness, it's been a big walkthrough, probably my biggest one to date. A lot of work has gone into it, but it's still not over yet. One more video to go. So on that note, guys, I will leave it here, and I will see you in the next video, the final one. I'm out.